St Edward's School in Oxford for the Music Teachers Association Conference. First, I'll be on a panel uh, discussing UDI in my um, sort of my experiences in my early years learning music and in my career. And then later on, I'll be giving my keynote speech, uh, hoping to inspire, motivate, give a different perspective, and also just say thank you and well done to all of these educators and just say keep remembering why you're doing it and keep on bringing the passion so I hope that they take some nuggets away from it bring our, our musical superheroes so I look forward to getting there. We cannot change or we can't get there quick enough my main thing is to bring the heart and the passion back into the music the same way that we enjoy music on the way to school in the car singing along to Capital or whatever station you're listening to and then you get into a music class and you don't have that same feeling. We need to bring that enjoyment and passion, whatever, however we teach it, back into the classroom. I think especially having lived through the last couple of years that we have done, it's time to look at the glass half full. No more crisis talk about music education. How can we make the change? How can we make it happen? Who do I need to collaborate with? Where do I need to be? That's on us, the educators. That was absolutely fantastic. The energy and enthusiasm that she, that Yolanda brought to her speech was so great. And the most important thing, actually, she said, let's have no more crisis talk in music education and, and gave us a call to arms to do something and do something now. So we're looking forward as the MTA to doing that. But also, deep down, people do know about music. So expect to have to do magic. There's no resources, there's no money. But can you teach us all music? There's no resources, there's no money. But can you just give a couple more hours of find some instruments for the students? It always seems like that, doesn't it? We're expected to do that magic. But we can be industrious, meet people, find ways that other people have done things. Until the system catches up, we are going to have to do magic. But we can, because music is that powerful. So I've just been in the Yolanda Brown session and it was absolutely amazing, so inspiring and the thing that I'll take away from it was the thing that she talked about with music being a superpower. Not everybody's got it but everybody could have it if they wanted it and that's why we need to um, share it with it, as many people as we possibly can. Um, I remember at university, my first year of being able to actually give music a try and I to join the concert orchestra at the university camp and so I went to the first rehearsal, the first thing they asked me, you know what they asked me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, and so I said, oh, I, I don't do grades. I just blank stare, I don't understand. <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and so I couldn't, I couldn't interact. I, I had no basis to interact. Yet we were there to make music. This wasn't anything to do with studying. This was just an extracurricular activity. And yet I didn't feel at home with other musicians. just to hear from Yolanda there. Um, I think really inspiring and encouraging us to, to, to have fun as music educators and to really encourage our pupils to do that um, was a real, real kind of takeaway. Uh, the keynote was absolutely amazing, genius, and the way thought of the scale and added with all in harmony together, I just thought it was amazing. I'm going to take away so much from it about collaborating together and how actually the owners should be on us to make the change, even though the system isn't making the change, because we can do so much more. I think Yolanda made us think really carefully about what's important in music and how we get children to keep engaging with it and keep loving music because once you lose the love, it's really difficult to keep it silent.
major scale. And there is a little bit of interaction, no heckling but interaction. C for me is collaborate. Can everyone say collaborate? my keynote speech here at the Music Teachers Association. We've been hosted by St Edward's School here in Oxford and it's been absolutely amazing getting to meet all of these music teachers and people involved in music education who are so passionate about the future of music education and our students. Um, it's been an absolute joy. So my message to them, keep on being you, being fantastic and thank you so much for listening to me.